Welcome to Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Today we're embarking on the first of a few videos where we're going to bring you the best day trips you can do from San Jose. Our first trip takes us up near the Paras Volcano to here, one of the oldest and most famous coffee plantations in Costa Rica, the Doca Estate. I'm looking forward to trying this coffee. We're going to learn how it's made and see the original process before finishing up at the Waterfall Gardens near the Peace Lodge. It should be a lot of fun. To get to the Doca Estate, it's a 45 minute drive heading up from San Jose. You'll be treated to plenty of rich coffee fields as well as the impressive Poas volcano that overlooks the vibrant scenery. This tour shows you the inner workings of one of Costa Rica's most famous coffee plantations. At over 120 years old, this wet mill is the oldest in the country and still uses traditional methods that mix with modern technology to create a unique harvesting process. The tour is divided into three sections. The coffee plantation, where the beans are picked. The seeding station, where they're processed. Followed finally by the roasting room. These are the good beans. These are the ones that taste great and get exported around the world from Costa Rica to places like Starbucks, Costco. Uh, and then the not so good beans, these ones, and as you can see a bit darker, they stay at the local markets. Well, right now I'm trying the breakfast blend and I can taste the acidity. Let's try the French one. One of the great things about doing the Docker tour comes with lunch if you're around lunchtime mid morning and you get a typical casado, I love it. The estate also offers some additional amenities highlighting the local nature and history. The butterfly garden has a few different species to enjoy. The beautifully crafted bonsai garden is delightful. And the coffee museum houses many tools that were used in the past during the coffee making process. The coffee tour is a perfect way to enjoy the morning, followed by an afternoon visit to La Paz Waterfall Gardens, 30 minutes away and located at the base of Poas Volcano. At La Paz Waterfall Gardens you can expect to be thrilled by a wide variety of flora and fauna, from frogs to jaguars to birds and butterflies. The garden's grounds offer an exciting array of colour and something to keep everyone entertained. Of course, the most impressive views are found at the waterfalls themselves. This is the most photographed place in Costa Rica, and it's easy to see why. The self-guided trails are easy to navigate and will have you strolling through the jungle with ease as you explore this lovely region. What a great day trip, guys. We've had a fantastic time. The Doca Coffee Plantation, it's a fantastic experience. I've got my French roast coffee, um, after learning about the whole process and there's a great many amenities on site to enjoy as well and lunch was spot on. The Waterfall Gardens is a great way to finish up and you can check out more information by clicking here for the Peace Lodge as well. Of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe by clicking here to stay in touch with everything Costa Rica related. For Frog TV, I'm Adam Baker. Hasta la próxima.